Back in 2019, I did an extremely popular video, so popular that it's up to like 70,000 views, on how to set up your business phone and email cheap. I gave three hacks that I have used in my business over the years. And one of them was so significant that it has gotten rave reviews. Since that time, I have gotten tons and tons and tons of comments and questions and thank yous and likes from you guys about that particular video. Who knew that setting up your basic business phone system and your email system when you are starting up in your business was such a huge question for folks? So I am glad that I was able to bring that to you. But a lot of the comments and questions and statements that I've received have not gone unnoticed and they've specifically said that what I recommended in that 2019 video and what I shared in that video is no longer applying in 2022. What? So I thought it is time to do an update. CP, it is time to investigate and see if there have been that significant changes, so much so that I should be giving you guys separate hacks on how to be able to set up your business communication system in your business when you're first starting out cheap. So today, my love, if you have been trying to figure out what you should do to set up your business phone and email when you are getting started, keep watching because I am about to update what I have already told you those three hacks are. I'm going to walk you through exactly what to do and I am going to head over to the studio and do that with you right now. So let's get to work. Hey there guys, welcome to CPTV and the CPTV studios. I am CP and this is the place for aspiring and growing and scaling entrepreneurs who want to turn their business ideas and passions into actual businesses and those businesses into freedom for the future. So if that sounds like you, welcome. You are gonna wanna stay, you're gonna wanna subscribe. And I don't wanna waste any more time because this video, this topic has been on my mind and on the mind of so many of you CPTVers for so long that it is time to do a refresh. So let's get right into what I recommend and how you should set up your business phone and email and how you can do it for pennies on the dollar. Let's get to it. So let's start with email. As you guys know, email will be a primary method of communication in your business when you are starting out. And a part of the reason why I did the original video was because I was sick and tired and it actually makes me want to puke when I am doing business with someone, especially a startup entrepreneur who puts so much blood, sweat and tears into their products and into marketing and they are really out there tackling this entrepreneurial thing. And then I get an email message that says their business name at gmail.com. Oh, so annoying for me. I cannot stand it. And not only is it annoying for me, but it's annoying for anybody that you are trying to project a professional brand with. So my first tip in setting up your business email is you've got to do it surrounding your domain. And the domain is the part of the process that I am going to share with you right now. Now, who do I like? Who is the updated provider, hoster, domain person that you can ultimately get what I think is the critical piece of a business, which is email addresses. The reason why I have chosen this and I want to update you guys on this particular provider is because for me, I think when you're starting up, keeping your expenses low is absolutely critical. If you can't keep things cheap, it is very, very start hard to push forward. And there are lots of web hosting domain types types of providers out there. GoDaddy and Wix and all these other ones. Um, there's a ton of them, but the, not all of them will actually give you what you really need in your business aside from hosting your website, which is emails. You need to be able to have designated branded emails that include your domain. When I say that, I mean ones like mine, cp at cherylcperez.com. 
that's a branded email that is directly tied to my business domain. If you haven't checked out CherylCPerez.com, by the way, feel free to do so. Make sure you say hey and sign up for my VIP list. But anyway, getting back to the topic, you have to have an email and you need to be able to choose an email provider that gives you the ability to have several emails, access to email inexpensively. What I found in updating my research is that things ain't really changed y'all. If you go out to some of these other domain providers, most of them have now at least begun including at least one free email address. But the fact of the matter is they've always, almost always included that one free email address. But you need more than one email when you are starting your business. You may think that you want all of your email coming to just your email address, especially if you're a solopreneur, one email should be enough. But I am here to tell you that you you are not preparing yourself to scale if you only need and have one email address. And let's just say even right now for the next year or 18 months or two years, you really only do need that one email address. What happens when you are ready to take it to that next level, you're ready to outsource, you're ready to expand your team, and now a brand new expense has come up or it's very, very difficult to create a branded email for your team members. That is why I have always recommended who I did a little, well, actually a lot of digging into to see if what you guys were telling me was actually true about them. And after all of my research, after doing all of my due diligence, I am here to tell you that my recommendation on where you should actually get your web hosting and domain name from so that you can have access to one of their most amazing features is still going to stay the same. That's right. iPage iPage still does it. I know you guys have been telling me that they stopped offering you the unlimited free email address access, but they haven't. There's something that you might be doing a little wrong. So I want to walk you guys through exactly how to go through the process. Now, one thing I want to clarify is some people have made comments and actually said they're no longer doing unlimited email addresses if you get a domain. And I don't think that I originally said that they were gonna give you free email addresses if you got a domain. I have to roll that tape back and check it out. iPage.com, that is what I recommend. And that's where I recommend you go to secure your domain. Why? Because iPage.com has a little known secret that most folks don't know about, and it's actually that first hack. You'll be able to go out and purchase your domain just like you can on GoDaddy or anywhere else, Wix or wherever you decide to get your domain from. But the secret sauce with iPage.com is on it, it has all kinds of resources. You can still do drag and drop website builders. You can actually build a WordPress site. You can do all kinds of things. But my favorite, most favorite thing about iPage is that you are able to build unlimited donate domain name based email addresses without paying for them. They are free. Yes, that's right. You heard me unlimited email addresses. And that is extremely important. I don't know what I am going to tell you after my research to do this 2022 update is that you have to get a web hosting package in order to get the free unlimited email addresses. But with that web hosting package comes a free domain. So you do have to get the web hosting package, which for the first year is going to be extremely discounted. And then after that, it's going to go up to the other you know, price point, which is also still very, very reasonable when you're starting a business. But with that web hosting and that free domain that you get with that web hosting, you will get unlimited email addresses. You will. You don't believe me? Okay. Well, Let's just head on over to my computer and let me walk you through exactly how to take advantage of it, my love, because bottom line is you are going to have to pay and host your web address anyway. And I'm going to also take an opportunity to walk you through why even other companies have shown and chosen iPage as the winner in comparison against one of the most popular platforms out there, GoDaddy. It is so important for you to understand that when you get your domain, you're going to need to host your website somewhere. And iPage is a perfect place to do it. But even if you don't, even if you don't want to host 
your website on iPage. You can still get the web hosting package for what I think is a very reasonable cost, especially when you take into consideration that you're getting unlimited email addresses. Any other ones of those might give you one and then charge you for every additional email address that you're going to want to do. This one is going to give you web hosting, give you a free domain and give you free unlimited email addresses. So without further ado, let me walk you through how to take advantage of this amazing set up your email in your business hack. All right, guys. So first thing I want you to do is to click the link below this video in the description. It will take you directly to this page, this I page page. As you can see, I am, I already have a several iPage domains, but I am logging in and I'm actually going to go through the process that you need to go through, including purchasing a new domain so that you can really get an idea of what the cost is and then also how to get the unlimited email. But I want to show you something first, because when I first started doing my research, my initial thought was, I'm just going to call them and ask the questions. And I did. And then I realized, you know, let me also when I walked through, I said, you know, you're not giving away unlimited email anymore, blah, blah, blah. They said, yes, we are. It still counts with the affordable web hosting services. And it's kind of always been that way. You know, I've gotten some comments from folks that said, you know, it's not free. Um, come on, guys. Seriously, I didn't think that I needed to be that freaking explicit. Of course, it's not free. Is there anything free? Hell, water isn't even free anymore. But this is the most cost effective solution. And you are going to have to invest in your business. This is a critical piece of your business, getting your domain, setting up your website, um, getting your email addresses set up, getting your phone set up. This is all critical to really having a professional presence. And if you don't want to invest in this piece of your business, you are not with the right mindset or on the right path of entrepreneurship. This is basic. One of the reasons why I loved iPage is aside from the unlimited email addresses for free, that's what you get for free, unlimited emails. You get access to creating as many email boxes as you want to with your domain behind it. And that is priceless, my love. It is priceless. But aside from that, you also need to create and build a website. You need to host your website. And, and, and iPage has some amazing features in it that allow you to do just that. This video isn't about that. This one is focused on the email. Um, I might dive into it a little bit. Let's just see how good I get into this whole thing. But iPage was my very first host and I built my business's very first website all by myself on iPage with their kind of drag and drop software because a lot of people go to GoDaddy and to Wix because they have these amazing templates and you can kind of build it yourself even though you know I, I talk about a whole different thing in my startup academy. Um, and if you want access to the startup academy, your information. That link is down below as well. But I built it myself, just kind of drag and drop because I needed to get something online. And then obviously, you know, we've changed it and we've converted it. But this is where you're going to start out. So I want to make sure that you start there. You're looking at it now just to scroll through this a little bit. And I want to point this out. This talks about everything that you need to get online. Now, this is what you are ultimately purchasing. And this is a special introductory price. Um, it's $1.99 a month. It's regularly $7.99. So that is not crazy expensive. You will be paying for web hosting regardless. All right. You might as well get free unlimited email addresses with that. All right. So I just want to be clear. Um, you get your free domain for a year because every single year, whether you know it or not, you're going to have to pay for your domain unless you pick a two year year or three year package, then it'll be every two years or every three years. I just want to be clear on that. I typically now at this point pick three years because I don't even want to have to remember to worry about it every year because if you miss it by one day, it will shut down your entire entire thing. Trust me, I've been through it. But anyway, unlimited bandwidth, your SSL certificate is included. You get 24 seven support. I have to tell you that iPage's customer service and support team is amazing. I'm going to click right here and see more features. And it's more than just web hosting. So you can easily install WordPress if you want to build your website with WordPress. There it is, folks, the unlimited email addresses. I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't have the right little clicker with me. But this is you can create unlimited email addresses at your own domain, including autoresponders and email forwarding, which is critical. It does have e-commerce functionality, um, site analytics, search engine ad credits. You're going to also get $200 worth of ad credits, which wasn't given me when I first got it. But ultimately, that's what we're looking for. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click get started. It's going to bring me to this page. 
And normally I wouldn't necessarily be teaching you the how in this video. So this is definitely golden nuggets. Um, so as you can see, some stuff was already over here because I was playing around with it earlier with a couple of domains that I need to actually purchase. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete some of these because you're gonna pick your domain. So you wanna go through the process of already picking your domain. Um, I'm gonna remove everything from this cart just so that you can, guys can see me do it from the beginning, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and look for my domain. Um, I've actually got a new product that I'm working on. So I need, I do need this. That might give you a little bit of insight. All right, so my domain name is available. Awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that. Now in my cart, it's gonna automatically include the web hosting plan because that's what I clicked on. And that's what I want to get the unlimited emails. It's gonna automatically put you at the max of three years in order for you to get the 199 a month. If I wanna go back down to one year, it's gonna charge me 299 a month. So it's totally up to you. But as you can see, I've got my free SSL certificate and I've also got my one year domain. Now I would, you know, my web hosting, I'm not going to do it any higher than that because I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use this um, building a separate site for it, but I definitely want the domain. Um, but the domain, I'll probably just go ahead and put it in there for two years. Privacy and protection, I talk about this in depth in my Startup Academy about what this is and whether or not you need it. It just keeps you private from who, um, and that's a whole different video that I can do. So if you want to learn more about that, if you really want to get deep into it, you can not You can let me know in the comments below, but otherwise I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and get the, the one year in here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward just a little bit and go through this purchasing process, and I will be right back to show you guys You know where I'm at. But this is where I'm at. So it's going to ask me to go ahead. I, everything is in my cart, my web hosting, my free SSL, my actual domain, which is ultimately ringing up is free, as you can see, for the first year. It's going to offer me some add-on, site lock, Google Workspace. I don't need any of that stuff. Um, and I'm going to make sure website backup and restore. I'm taking that out. So you want to make sure that you click out of things that you don't want. It is going to automatically add. They're, they're trying to make money, right? So they're, it's going to automatically add some things. I'm going to continue to my billing. Okay, guys, so as you saw, I just purchased my domain for a very reasonable price, by the way, but not only was it my domain, I actually got that for free, it was to host my website, which you need, it's the exact same thing. So anyway, how do we get to the unlimited emails? Because that is what really brings that value. The price for web hosting and the domain itself is not out, it's, it's not, you know, it, it's, it's very competitive. You have to pay for it regardless. But here's the difference in iPage. So here's business, biz process in a box that I just purchased. I'm gonna go over here to the manage button and click on that toggle. Now, I think this is where a lot of you have gotten confused in the past because of the comments and the questions that I get. So I wanna make sure that I explain what all of these are. So um, as it loads, over here in the summary, you're going to see different things, right? You're going to see builders. This is your website builder. This is your WordPress. This is an email management section. If you um, want to utilize Microsoft 365, because I get questions, well, it's making you buy Microsoft 365. It's not making you buy Microsoft 365. You can buy Microsoft 365. I do recommend it because Microsoft 365 is going to be that clearinghouse that you'll be able to pull all of your email addresses into so that you have one place to go to in order to access all of those emails. So over here, like I said, if you click on this Microsoft 365, it's going to give you the option um, to, enlow, to, to, to actually utilize Microsoft 365. Now, I've not gone through iPage to, to enroll in Microsoft 365. I have my own account. I've gone through Microsoft 365 separate. There's a link below that you can access it. Um, so so I, you can just ignore that. This is not making you do that. This is right here. It says Google Workspace. This is an opportunity for you. to. You don't need to do this. This is just a way for you to pull all of your domain-based email boxes in into you know different services and I don't particularly use Google Google Workspace either but the standard button is where you want to go to create your unlimited emails so this over here gets confusing ignore the Google Workspace piece ignore the Microsoft 365 piece and click on standard now I am in my domain I am using this tool to manage my email addresses and I can add an unlimited number of mailboxes to my domain 
All right. So it is still here. It does still work. So I'm going to just go ahead and add. So the first mailbox is going to be CP at Biz Process in a Box. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of create, you know, um, let me let me actually create a real one, y'all. As you know. Otherwise, you know, I'll forget it. Um, so I'm going to create that one. All right, I'm going to create, um, you know, service at bizprocessinabox.com. And I'm going to give it an email address. Create the email. It now exists. All right, I'm going to keep going. Let's just do told y'all so. <laughs> you like how petty I'm being right now? Told y'all so at bizprocessinabox.com. All right. So as you can see, I can keep going. I can keep creating them. And when I do that, I click right on launch email. Um, iPage has its own kind of email called Roundcube that they use. You can access your inbox, your junk, compose your emails directly from here. Again, I don't use this method to control and to access and to manage my emails. I have a Microsoft 365 account that I pull all of these email addresses into. I've got my Gmail in there. I've got all that stuff in there. And it basically allows me me to manage all of my email boxes as like one clearinghouse. So I don't access it this way. But my point is, where exactly are you saying you can't do it? Where exactly are we saying that, right? I mean, it's here. I'm adding the unlimited email addresses. I've still only paid what you saw me pay for my web hosting, for my domain. I'm in here. I'm creating as many emails as I want. And I can always come back in as I add staff members, as I add employees, as I add different goals or ideas or whatever surrounding this particular domain or your domain, you can add as many emails as you want. So that is how you do it. All right. That is ultimately how you're going to get the unlimited free emails. And trust me, when I was getting your feedback and your comments saying to me, it's not available anymore, it's not free anymore. Yes, it is. Am I saying that you're not going to pay at all and you're just going to walk in and someone's going to give you unlimited emails for free? No, that don't make no sense. You have to pay for web hosting anyway. That's what you're doing if you go through a GoDaddy or any other type of places. If with those same types of places, they will give you the opportunity to purchase your domain because what you're paying for is the web hosting. The difference between them and iPage is you're going to pay for the hosting, you're going to get your domain, but you can enroll in as many email addresses as you want to utilizing that domain. And that is the hack of the century. That is why I always get my domains through iPage. I get my, I don't necessarily use iPage for my hosting now. I used to, but you can e very easily still get it and host it somewhere else if you want to. You can transfer that domain anywhere else if you want to. I get that question all the time. Um, there's a button down here that talks about pointering your subdomains, DNS and name servers. This is a little above you know, the, the video here, but this allows you to do that as well. And then I also get the question oftentimes, how, if I purchase my domain somewhere else, how do I get it into iPage so that I can ultimately do that? And again, you're going to want to get the hosting package and transfer the domain in. And when you transfer that domain, then it's going to allow you to go right here into email management section standard and create as many emails as you want for that particular domain. Boom, mind blown. All right, you see, it's still up to date, boo. What I told you still applies. Now, we got to spend a little bit more time talking about phone. And there are lots of different types of phone systems out there that you can utilize as a new startup entrepreneur to take care of getting that piece of your communication structure set up appropriately. I still, after all comparison, am still going to keep my original recommendation intact and in place, my love. And that is still Unitel. Now, Unitel, the reason why, yes, there's Grasshopper, there's lots of other ones out there that offer you VoIP. 
And VoIP is technically voice over IP. What a VoIP phone number or VoIP phone system allows you to do is utilize your cell phone when you're just starting out as a business line, but it will funnel through an app that pops up on your phone. So when someone calls your business line, it's actually going to still come through your cell phone, but it's gonna go through an auto receptionist. It's going to dial into your extension. You're going to look at your phone. You're going to see that it's your office. And when you answer the phone, you can answer it as a professional not as someone who happens to be answering they cell phone. Yo. What's that? What's that? Exactly. You don't want your business folks hearing you like, what's up? Talk. Yeah. Hmm. You don't want that. You want to be able to answer your phone and know that it is a business call. You want to also not have to answer your phone when you know that it's a business call. It gives you that work-life balance that you need. I 100% recommend against giving out your cell phone number as your business phone. It will limit you in the future from being able to escape and have a work-life balance. It also doesn't train your clients or your people very well that there are business hours that you conduct business and then there are hours that you don't conduct business so it ain't okay to call you about no business. The only people who should have access to your cell phone number are VIPs, your friends, and your family. That's it. You should not be giving customers your cell phone number. You don't believe me? Look, I did it for years and guess how much work-life balance I had? Zero. I also had several million arguments with my family, with my husband, because I felt compelled to answer my client and customer calls all the time, all hours of the day and all hours of the night. That is when I began instituting VoIP systems and Unitel is still the perfect fit when you are just starting out. Why? because it's the cheapest. It is the most cost effective. You can get a VoIP phone system with an auto receptionist, with faxing capabilities, incoming and outgoing, all of it going to your cell phone with your own extension. You can add additional extensions as you add to your team and you can get it all for around 10 to 12 bucks a month. Yes, that's what I said. It is cheap, 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 and still doesn't require you to add any additional equipment. And as your business grows and later on, you can change phone systems, keeping the same phone number, or you can just update and upgrade Unitel to actually include desk phone systems for you as well. But again, the winner in 2022 from CP is still Unitel, still Unitel. Now, how do you get access to this amazing hacks that I just talked to you about? First, iPage. The link for iPage is down below. And yes, it is an affiliate link, but it will not affect your pricing at all. It's just that if you click that link, I get a little bit for talking to you and teaching you um, on the benefits of using iPage. And the same thing applies to the Unitel link that's down below. Make sure that you click those links and check them out. They are going to change the game. If you have been looking for a complete communication system and structure in your business as a new startup entrepreneur, these are the two that you should go with. They can't be beat. Honestly, they can't be beat. So make sure that you check it out. And I'm glad that I was able to take this opportunity, heard you loud and clear, listen to how many times you guys told me to do an update. Here it is. It's the final update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please tell me in the comments below. Check it out. Give me the additional feedback as you guys go through the process. I just went through the process of purchasing a new domain just to walk you through. Okay, boo. So I am sacrificing out here. I need you to help me in the algorithm. Like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've got any questions about anything else you've got going on in your business. And until next time, my loves, I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day and stay safe. Bye-bye.